Hi guys, welcome to this video about bydick.com and my experience with this store. So they have a really large store and good prices and they ship I think from New York uh, which means you don't have to pay tax in US and yeah they are pretty competitive regarding prices and everything is looking good so when you go to a price comparison site like here we are on the Google page we are let's say we are looking for this LG 75 inch uh, TV then usually Bydic is pretty much on top of the list for a lot of TVs here we have it uh, somehow uh, together with Rakuten I, I, I don't know what they uh, they are I mean it's a Jap Japanese company I've been looking into that when you click on that you get only to Rakuten maybe shipping and everything will be done by Baidik I don't know uh, how this really works but anyway I mean um, you you can go to other price comparison sites as well and buy dick is a lot of times is on top of the list especially when it comes to large tvs uh let's say yeah 75 inch or something like that 65 or higher 75 and so and yeah so how does it really work how's the experience i mean when it comes to tv shopping which are the most important criteria for me it was first thing to have free shipping because uh, shipping can be really expensive for large tvs of course and they have free shipping then no tax of course i mean with uh, when you spend two thousand dollars maybe seven percent uh, tax or something like that can be a lot of money and yeah sometimes they have even additional incentives so sometimes you get even free stuff because they have limits because they are, are an official reseller for a lot of um, brands and then you have minimum prices so how can they beat minimum prices they can offer additional uh, things like you get a free speaker system or something like that uh, yeah that's uh, sometimes the, this is what they are sometimes doing as well and I mean yeah free shipping no tax and then you want to have some ha some some sort of uh, return good return policy if uh, something arrives broken or it breaks really fast or if you are totally unhappy with the TV and uh, yeah they have everything in place actually can't find at the moment this thing regarding uh, returns but I'm 100% sure when I bought my TV there was actually this uh, not free returns but returns within I don't know 30 days or something like that which not many stores have it and so when it, everything is really tight and you have to make a decision so at the end the uh, 30 day or 90 day return uh, policy uh, can definitely help at least this is what you think so but the problem is how does it really work what is this uh, policy or whatever is uh, yeah what what is it worse how does it work so what I can really highly recommend is that you go to uh, before you buy something go to buydick.com shop content policies return I put down the link into the description so you don't have to look this up and th here there's a lot you can click on everything and you get a lot of text about this uh, yeah first they say standard return policy full refund 45 days and this is 
the first thing of course most of the people will just see this and then they think okay i'm covered that's perfect 45 days uh, that there's nothing else here on the, in the first sentences but if you read further down i mean it can be there are some heavy heavy restrictions and they can change so i'm not going too deep into these things but I just say they can really hurt you much. I mean, they say, for example, a re return merchandise must be double boxed with no writing on the manufacturer's box. So how could it work with a large TV? It's impossible. I mean, they themselves ship large TVs without an additional box because yeah how to find uh, an additional box for a 75 inch tv it's impossible so they don't sell a uh, ship double boxed but they expect that you send it back double boxed okay then actually you already the worst thing the worst of everything and that's a killer for almost all large tvs they say televisions over 65 inches must be returned via one of our home delivery partners please contact us to schedule a pickup for your large tv return doesn't sound too terrible but i was in this situation to return my tv because it was really really disappointing and i was talking to them how i could return and they said yeah okay it's possible but uh, I mean I would have to pay a restocking fee it's 50% it's down here I think somewhere can't find it at the moment but the worst thing was really this sentence and they gave me the name of the company the, their so-called home delivery partners and already a price and it was uh, it was more than 400 dollars can you believe that i mean they are not paying 400 dollars when they ship their tvs so they are making a lot of money with uh, returns i mean so they can cover a lot of their cost first they deduct 15 percent and then even probably they will get i don't know maybe 200 dollars uh from this company i can just assume something i mean i don't have any proof but 400 dollars is way too much for a tv uh, to ship so probably they get another 200 dollars from them back and so they can cover even more costs so they can uh, sell it again as refurbished or something like that with a small discount and they still get uh, make a lot of money but uh, i think the most important thing for them will be that probably 95 percent of all the people then won't return their tvs because of the high cost so it's basically a no return policy for tv 65 inches and larger but without having to write it down and people are seeing it i mean if they wrote here directly in the small print that you probably have to face or you have to face uh 400 dollar shipping fee here that would be something else but uh, they just say must be done with one of our home delivery partners and you don't see the price and so uh, when it comes to this uh point in real they just uh smash a five four hundred dollar bill on you uh, i think that's a a, a dirty little nasty trick and this is actually the most uh, disappointing part of the whole small print but when you know who's behind this store it doesn't really surprise uh yeah just i i, I can't tell you 
quid is um, do your own research you will find it in the on the internet and you will find about the people behind this store and it probably won't surprise you um, yeah so anyway I can't tell you more than that definitely so here we have it buyers remorse for TVs in brand new condition if you are not 100% satisfied with your TV purchase you may return it within 30 days from delivery for a full refund less return shipping fees which can be the small amount of $400 or something <clears throat> please note that a 15% restocking fee may apply so hmm okay uh, return it for a full refund and then 15% restocking fee plus $400 for the return shipping and so on and so on uh, I mean okay I mean here uh, I mean yeah as far as uh, larger TVs than 65 inches I can tell you 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 won't return something like that I mean no way uh, yeah it, it, it will be I mean when you think about paying maybe seventeen hundred dollars for the one I was showing you and then you have 15% restocking fee and four hundred dollar uh, shipping fee I mean that's almost half of the price of the TV which you have to write off so probably at the end you will end up with a deal with them so it was same thing with me i mean i told them yeah okay uh that's not gonna work for me uh to write off 50 percent uh when they originally write 100 percent satisfaction guarantee with full refund and at the end you you end up with a 50 percent uh write off and yeah it it went back and forth and at the end i think they gave me another 100 dollar discount or something like that to just keep it and accept the uh defect or the the, the thing which uh didn't work for me and i mean it was it, it was already a really good deal and with the additional um yeah 100 dollar uh refund so it was somehow okay but of course not really satisfying because i was really expecting a possibility for a full refund but uh, anyway yeah i mean it's the small print you have to uh read it but who does that um but i mean for small items maybe if you if you order something for 50 dollars or for 100 dollars it's not worth reading everything if you buy something for 1000 2000 or even more dollars then go i can really highly recommend uh go go and read all the small print it's not too much i mean here the things what you see that covers almost everything and in about five minutes it's done i mean the problem is if you have to do it for 10 shops where, where you compare prices then yeah it's a little bit more work but at the end probably it's still the better option than to get uh, to, to be uh, really disappointed at the end so can i bu uh, recommend buy dig yeah i mean the prices are good everything worked good i got a, a, a good product i mean it was not damaged it was just not working i mean it was designed a design flow basically uh, it was not the fault of bydig the price was cheap uh, i got the tv on time uh, it was just a little bit hard to negotiate uh, when I uh, had this problem and you have to be really careful I'm not saying not to buy or to buy I just wanted to let you know just be careful and 
uh, always watch the small print when it comes to larger purchases so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time